I am Regina Williams. I am the president of the Charleston branch of ASALA, which is the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. We currently meet once a month at the Ava Research Center at 125 Bull Street in Charleston. And those meetings, each and every one of those meetings, looks at a different aspect of African American history. And we try to reach out to the community here. The program today was well attended. It looked at some of the historic sacred sites, the sacred grounds. Um, and I think our panelists did an excellent job of looking at various aspects of our history. We dealt with burial grounds, we dealt with Penn Center, and we dealt with slave dwellings, all of which are really major and I think important to pass on. I'm Victoria Smalls and I'm coming from Penn Center on St. Helena Island in Beaufort County. So very happy to be here today in Charleston, South Carolina. And today I spoke about Penn Center National Historic Landmark District and its significance culturally, historically, and how we're preserving things for our future. Before there were buildings, we had to have some class somewhere. And so the canopies, the trees, served as classrooms. And we're talking about hallowed ground and sacred ground. Everywhere on Penn Center's campus and all of these wonderful places that we're talking about today are hallowed and sacred ground. People will come and visit. And many people have. We've had um, all states visiting except for South Dakota. Do we have anyone in here from South Dakota? It, we need you to come to St. Helena so we can put you on our guest registry. My name is Leela Potts Campbell. I was asked to speak on the subject of black burial societies by Asala and I readily agreed. Um, I was very happy to speak on the subject primarily because most people don't know that Charleston has these black burial societies. Black burial societies exist no other place other than Charleston, South Carolina. And they have been going on now since 1790. My name is Joseph McGill. I am founder of the Slave Dwelling Project. Slave Dwelling Project is a simple concept. Find extant slave dwellings throughout the U.S. and ask the owners if I could spend a night in them because the focus uh, normally has been on the big house, you know, the places where our enslaved ancestors were living were uh, often neglected. So noticing this void in history, I thought that I would find out where these places are located and I'd ask the owners to spend a night in them just to bring much needed attention to them. I'm five years into this thing, uh, over 80 sites I've stayed at in 16 different states to include five northern states. So it stresses the importance of uh, preserving these buildings and interpreting these buildings. Um, a lot of these sites exist and some of the owners don't know that they are what they are. Some of them are reluctant to reveal what they are, but then there are, are a lot of those who know what they are and are forthcoming with preserving and interpreting them. So uh, they come in all shapes and sizes, all kinds of ownerships. I just uh, have become the clearinghouse for these buildings right now. And um, it had, this project has a strong future. It, uh, it is our way of honoring our ancestors. 